Hey everyone, it's Simon here with your Tau Daily Edition for Friday the 16th of August 2024. Uh, markets had a strongly bullish day yesterday following the stronger than expected retail sales figure. Um, what we're looking at right now is a situation where uh, the market is backtracking on recession fears but maintaining the expectation for interest rate cuts. And that is that is stock market nirvana. Okay, If you've got no recession and you've got rate cuts, equities are going, are going to rally. And that's what they did yesterday. And look, the, the balance of evidence is certainly tilting in favour of the bulls here. All right, we got uh, a very solid close above the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. We're above the 50-day moving average. We're above the anchor VWAP level for the quarter. This was a chunk of potential resistance and I said in yesterday's video rarely does the market give you such um, such geometric elegance or precision when everything seems primed for a pullback um, and it, it seems almost too obvious uh, usually it is too obvious and, and uh, rarely does, does it happen that elegantly and, and of course we just blew through all of that resistance yesterday so a market uh, I should say I shouldn't say a market I should say a stock or a stock index that blasts through its 61.8% retracement is more likely than not to challenge the previous high where these levels were drawn from. Now we can go back in here and we can add another level. The 78.6% FIP level is valid. And lo and behold, that was that was yesterday's high. All right, so this could come in and start acting as a bit of resistance as well. But I wouldn't be surprised at all if SPY comes in and rallies up to 560, 565. Wait, what, was the, what was the high here? 565.16. Now, the, the odds are greater than 50%. Okay, there, there is an edge in, in this reaching its previous high before collapsing. Uh, that's not to say we go up there in a straight line either. You can see the futures are, look like they're opening a little bit softer here. We've got uh, options expiration today. We've got Jackson Hole next week. You know, it could be, could be a squirrely week next week, depending on uh, what Powell has to say. But I'd have to say the technical picture here, after making this progress, has gone from cautiously bullish to, to bullish. Albeit clearly now is not a great time to be adding a whole bunch of risk. So I've been, I've been cautiously bullish throughout this move. I've been net long, but only in a small way. And I actually reduced my long exposure somewhat in, in, in yesterday's move. And probably what we want to see from here is a pullback and then a resumption of the upside. And then that, that could be a viable dip. I think if the market just goes straight up from here, uh, this, this sort of 560 to 565 area is going to be a big test. And then the, the back half of August and September, some of the worst seasonality for the stock market for the entire year. So I'm not expecting this to necessarily be smooth sailing. Now, in terms of long exposure through this rally, what I've been focusing on is stocks that basically ignored all of this chaos. So I, I took profit yesterday in uh, PGR. I mean, you look at a chart like that, I mean, really and truly, you, you would never know that the market had a hissy fit late July, early August. Um, Halo is another stock I've been involved in and again I, go, I mean this one did have a bit of a pullback but uh, certainly nothing as dramatic as the S&P and, and again just a very you know nice slow steady uptrend again looking at a chart like that you would not know uh, that uh, the S&P and, and particularly the Nasdaq uh, had uh, a real fit earlier in the month that's what I got for you today I hope it helps I wish you a great weekend and I'll catch you next week